Well guys, uh, the uh, loader operator was driving by and uh, he stopped and he says, you want a hand? And I was like, sure. And uh, so I asked him if he can, uh, if he can be on uh, YouTube and he said, yeah, no problem. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, he's going to blow it all into uh, this area here, over here. And uh, so the water will all run out there. So just going to put it down now and enjoy the video. No blower guys. Wow. There we go again. This is Kane here. It always leaves this bit of a, a little bit of an iceberg there. <laughs> it's hard, eh? Yeah, it's super hard. You build an igloo. <laughs> Hitting some of them with the grater the other day just got there. Both, Come yeah. Like, Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. that at least gets you into park. Anyways. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. All right, we'll day. see you later, Kane. All right, guys, that's community living. There's only uh, about 52 of us here, so everybody takes care of each other. So that's awesome. Well, let's give them a good old send off now. Look at that. Woo! Sweet. Awesome people in the country here. Just fantastic. I guess uh, I'll do a little bit of cleaning up here and get that done. But uh, I'm going to post this video on its own and and uh, just uh, want to show you guys the uh, great uh, community that we have here. Not only on YouTube, but in my little town here. And I'm sure everybody else in small towns. Uh, everybody comes together and takes care of each other so uh that was great i didn't uh didn't know if i'd be able to chisel through it too much with that with the snow blower there i still have to uh replace the uh the shear pin in here right in there so 
I am going to put this all together and get it all in the tubes. And I go inside. My hands are getting cold. It sure is windy here. And uh, the uh, it's not windy. Sorry, it's it's really cold, bitter cold. <clears throat> and um, and uh, I'm super super pumped now because that was super awesome. So thank God for for good people and and thank God for life. So. I really appreciate it being out here in the country and being out here in nature. Man, my, my hands are cold. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to tough it out. Um, I was just watching uh, my buddy over there in the Algonquin Park area, uh, Self Reliance. And uh, he was saying about uh, people living in bigger cities and stuff like that and don't really get out and and see nature and stuff like that and i've got it right in my backyard i've got coyotes coming through here got raccoons raccoons like to steal the eggs from the chickens i got a weasel kicking around if i don't uh take care of him he'll take care of my chickens but on the other hand he takes care of the mice so so it's not too uh it's kind of a, a handshake there but i've got the chicken coop done up pretty uh pretty good chickens are all inside they're probably not liking this weather too much but they're usually in their run there I haven't been getting a lot of eggs because uh, it's so cold I have to get them some water No eggs? No? Ah, they're not doing too much of the eggs. They lay these in the eggs in there? No? No. Sometimes they lay them on the ground. I gotta clean these little pens out for them and get them all buttoned up. Well, anyways, guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap up this video. And I'm gonna go inside, make myself a cup of tea. Because uh, I'm cold. I couldn't. I couldn't find. I asked my little brother. I said, "Hey, brother, can I leave my my snow pants at mom's place?" And he's like, "D, you leave something at everybody's place." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, well, that way, when they come across it." Yeah, put a smile on their face, or they have a good chuckle. And he said, "Yes, they will." So, I tend to leave stuff all over the place. It's my buddy Mitch's. I gotta fix it. And I, some of the things I popped out of there. I don't know why I did that. It's, it's, it's uh, for um, hunting. Oh, you know, guys, I was talking to in there with the uh, with a snow uh, snow blower there the tractor and uh, he uh, we were talking about how I uh, I haul my own water and uh, take the rainwater from the house in the summer and goes into the tank in the basement and uh, he said yeah he goes he's got a uh, those 330 gallon tanks in the uh in his house too and he says he's got a backup generator like mine he says when the power goes out at least he can still pump water uh and it's nice from the from inside the house so and uh he says a lot of people don't don't realize when the power goes out you can't pump water so and they're like oh my god taps don't work I'm setting myself up to uh, get uh, more uh, off-grid and and uh, just to get more of nature and do more stuff for my own and feel the cold and embrace nature and and I want to uh, take this trail here across the road there and go all the way that way 
to the north through Riding Mountain National Park. I'd like to do it on cross country skis. I'll just take a backpack with some water and some dry goods and some tinders and just in case I need to have a little fire to keep warm. Just do a nice few days of backpacking through the park. Uh, uh, getting back to self-reliance there um, he's in the Algonquin Park area and uh, last year um, in February well this time like I said the end of February uh, right now it's the first of February it's Friday I think it's the first 2018 um, could be the second um, my daughter and I we went through uh, Kakabek Falls and and uh, Niagara Falls, and of course we met Steve Robb. So, Steve Robb was the best man. And we were supposed to meet my buddy Adam Postma. Uh, you know him as Ghostma Vlogs. Um, but he, uh, unfortunately, he couldn't get off work. Um, so, we, uh, we went through there to Ottawa. Went, went to Niagara Falls, I'm not too sure if I said that. Ottawa, Montreal, in that area. And then I uh, came back through Algonquin Park, and Algonquin Park is absolutely beautiful. Um, I was telling him uh, that uh, I want to do uh, maybe two or three weeks and just stay in the park. Uh, maybe in the summer. Or, you know, if I can't, uh, can't do it then, maybe in the fall. Uh, when uh, when my uh, season uh, kind of goes off uh, on my seasonal work and then uh, just do a little stint up there for a bit and just do some ice fishing and stuff like he did um, I'll put a link down to his, uh, his page there and uh, go check him out he uh, was talking about the blue moon and he had some really good thoughts there and really good video he stays in a, a cabin that he built and uh you just check him out he's he's really good he's got some really great content guys anyways uh i'm gonna get back in the house as uh phyllis mulkey was uh texting me she lives about uh 40 miles from um from calvin's corner 72 guys so she's in georgia so she said that uh most they got for snow was about eight inches that's a lot of snow uh, and I told her that it's great for the crops in the spring, so that's a good thing. But uh, we definitely. Don't. All right, guys, I just want to do a little shout out while I'm putting in this. Uh, this is not the right uh, piece, but it's got to go in there. <clears throat> do a shout out to Lunatic Dad. Lunatic Dad commented on my storm picture. This is the aftermath of the storm, as you've seen in the video. Look at that drift there. Let's take you over this miniature little mountain. Look at it. It is hard packed. Look at it. Oh, there you go. Snow is hard. So, anyways, I want to do a shout out to Lunatic Dad. In my storm picture, like I was saying, he said, holy shit, <laughs> you look like my dad. And I said, what, you got a damn good looking dad. <laughs> I said, thanks brother. There's a little shout out for you. So, I'm gonna put you down here. I'm gonna put this, uh, this is not a shear pin. Uh, I don't know what to do with them, but they're somewhere. But this will have to do. For now. And I'm hoping that I can cut through this hard packed snow. Uh, so what I'm going to do over here for now. Get this thing started up again. Let's see. 
here. Alright, I got a little level bob on that thing. So.
Thank you.